at 79th can cause all kinds of problems, kind of like we're seeing right here. Um, but these guys are definitely doing something I don't recommend. You never really want to keep one foot on like a fixed pier or dock and one foot on a vessel, as we've seen many times in the past. That can have some pretty negative results. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I am your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the ramp. And as you can tell, we are back down at 79th. And our crew is experiencing the low tide issues, though. I believe we're in a negative tide on this one, and our girl is just a little bit short to try and be getting up onto the dock. But she's gonna do her best to see if she can get her way up here. And it looks like she's gonna climb up and have a little success. But uh, it's one of those tough days for people who may be a little bit height challenged to be trying to get off of a jet ski on the dock. But they've made it and they're gonna get out of here pretty successfully and we'll move on. Our crew's coming in on approach on six, and just a nice, easy, steady approach. And we got wifey climbing up into the bow, but not holding on to anything's not a good idea. Oh, <laughs> and it almost proves not to be a good idea. He gives the speed check, and she winds up going forward. And we're going to continue with our approach, but it looks like we should be able to get this one on now. But once again, low tide causes all kinds of problems. And Wifey gets off, but my man, he hits the throttle, and now he's pulling back off. He's going to have to get a line to Wifey pretty quick to be able to get this one pulled back up. And we're going to have a little success here. But he started floating off there pretty quickly. And she's going to have to pull this one forward, and he's going to try and keep the boat pushed off the dock as they do so. And she can tell now that he, he doesn't like the position he's in and definitely is trying not to scratch his boat as they come in. Our crew here is taking the absolute slowest of slow roll approaches coming in on one. <laughs> we've got one person who's reaching. Now we've got, she's pushing off, he's pulling. <laughs> That's not a good combo at all. I guess they're trying to get the bow of the boat kind of around the dock a little bit, but now we're gonna have four people climbing into the bow of the boat to try and assist on this. So he's up on the dock and got a line. She's going to push off, but man, everybody's going for the pull grab. Whoa, we got to be a little careful there. We're lucky nobody went swimming on that one. Really, this could have been easily resolved with just a small bump of forward by the captain probably, but, and the captain's left the helm with the motor still running, which is something I never recommend. But... He's heading up, and they should get this one on to one now. And our crew's coming in, and our captain, I'm not going to lie, looks a little nervous. Not sure if this is the first time on this boat. Maybe they're new boaters, I, but he definitely looked nervous as he came past the camera. And our crew's ready for the approach, though. And actually, they don't have a terrible angle. And they're running in on five. We look like we're probably getting close enough. Even our bow guy might be able to go ahead and give a toss and get us onto a pole. And Cap looks pretty good so far. He's getting him in there. Nice, slow approach. The wind and current's pushing away from five, so, oh, oh, getting a little throttle happy now. And here's where at least everybody looks like they're hanging on now. And Cap, oh no! Captain really is getting heavy with the throttle, whoa! He is handsy today on this one. And now our crew's really hanging on, both the person in the bow and our young lady sitting here in the cabin, deck of the boat is, they're all hanging on for life. <laughs> Captain's gonna back back out on this one and try and reset up and reapproach. And coming in with a nice slow roll approach this time. Again, but that's how we approached it the first time before we got a little crazy with the throttle. Cap looks like he's going to let it roll at idle this time. 
And it looks like our captain's going to go ahead and take this situation into his own hands, come off the stern, and get this thing up on the dock. And our gentleman's also coming out of the bow now, and we'll walk this thing up five. But we did have our fun as they went through that with the throttle, and I mean, he was a little handsy on it, but we got fortunate. Everybody's on the dock, and uh, the boat made it in safely. We didn't hit anything, but, but it was definitely an adventure getting there. And I'm trying to figure out if the boat's still on. I'm, I'm assuming that's why the lady went over to the helm, was to turn it off. And yeah, I don't see anything going on now, but that was just an interesting one to go over there. They should have turned it off before they got off the boat. And what do you do when you have no lines? Well, you just reach and pray. You can reach your person on the dock if you've drifted off. And our crew's coming in, making their approach. And they're actually coming in a little hot. I'm assuming we'll see a speed check coming back in on this one. And they're going to make their approach on three, once again against the wind and current, but they've made a steep enough approach, and there's our speed check. The, but with a steep enough approach like that, they're able to get it in, and cap looks pretty good. Well, we missed the first toss, we decided we're going to skip the second toss and just go ahead and walk this up. But in doing so, we've done the notorious kickoff, and that's when you leap from the bow with slack in the line and actually kick the bow of the vessel out. And so now he's had to pull the bow back in, but because the wind and current's going against him, the stern's kicked out the opposite direction as well. And Cap's trying to come across with some lines from the other side, and he's going to go for the toss up to the dock. Let's see if our guy can get this one brought back in. And they'll slowly bring this one back in, but... That's one to always remember when you're down here at the docks as well. If you're leaping off a vessel, you kind of want to keep the line tight with you. So as you're going toward the dock, hopefully the vessel will come with you. Now you do have to leave a little slack because you really don't want that line to get taut until you actually hit the dock. But if you kick off of a boat like that, that vessel is going to take that momentum from the kickoff and start drifting out. So you need to keep the line just taut enough that when you do that, that it can come back to the dock with you. But these guys are going to get out of here, and we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And, of course, we have Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.